Hi everybody, I'm Fabian Fuentes with the head coach of the Running Bulldogs, uh, Chris Holtman. Coach, uh, great to see you again. Yeah, it's good good to see you. I hope you had a holiday. Happy holidays, as did uh, everybody out there. I know uh, I enjoyed spending some time with my family. Uh, we went back to uh, Lexington, Kentucky, where my family's from, uh, and had a chance to spend our first Christmas with our, our seven-month-old daughter. So she... Uh, didn't quite realize how spoiled she got. Yeah, she, I don't know if she can quite realize it, but she got she got really spoiled. So it was fun to do that for. Her. Very special time of year because once the basketball season is going, sometimes you don't get to see the uh, the family as much as you would like. Yeah, it was it, it's been quite a stretch of travel and uh, hadn't had a chance to spend much time with uh, you know my immediate family and, and even my wife and daughter for that matter. So it was good to get back and spend a couple days back home and I think good for our players too to get back and kind of get recharged and refreshed a little bit for uh, this this conference run. Speaking of getting back to it, now you're back to work. Tell us a little bit about the uh, schedule for your basketball team. You last played on the 18th of the month at uh, Louisville. Uh, take us through the schedule for the uh, young men during holidays. Well, it was uh, we, we brought them back for a couple days and I've had a couple coaching colleagues that said uh, ask me how that was bringing guys back uh, knowing that they weren't going to play for another 13 days approximately. And I said, well, it wasn't, wasn't an easy task, but that we tried to make competitive uh, practices competitive um, for our kids. And, uh, you know, it was just it was going to be too long of a stretch, Fabian, to go from, you know, the 19th until, you know, we returned after Christmas. We needed to uh, keep some level of conditioning for our, for our players. Um, so we were able to come back for a couple days and then practiced on the, on the 19th, the 20th, and then the 21st um, in the morning and, uh, and then let them go the 22nd through the 26th, which is a good amount of time really uh, considering. And then had some players, you know, have trouble getting back uh, because of the snow and inclement weather uh, that occurred, especially in Tennessee and North Carolina. But for the most part, uh, guys were able to get back and, and – uh, we had a couple, couple back-to-back -back days of two a days, mm -hmm. and um, you know a lot of time, you know this time of year, most Division One programs, most college programs for that matter, are going two a days. Uh, some are even going three a days. Um, you know, it's it's what else do players really have to do right now? You know, uh, play video games, sleep, and eat. And uh, <laughs> I'd prefer them to be in the gym. You know, it's, you know, I want them to sleep and eat, but the video games can, you know, we we can do without. You know, four hours a day of that. Eight wins for this Garden Web basketball team a season ago. Obviously, this is your first season at the helm of this program. Uh, Coach Holtman, if anyone were to say that uh, coming back to play after the Christmas break in your first year at the program, that you would have six victories, how would you have felt about that? I, I'd have felt uh, really good. I'd have felt like we'd have, we, we would have accomplished some things. Um, and, uh, and, and certainly felt good given our schedule and the demands of the schedule and the youth and inexperience uh, of our team coming back. Um, so it's a really a credit to our guys. Uh, but, you know, we're um, committed and, and, and I'm committed to, to uh, figuring out how we can get back to playing uh, really good and sound basketball and we've done that in, in stretches in just about every one of our games, to be quite honest with you. Um, you know, we, we've got to get back to playing and defending at a high level and rebounding at a high level and taking better care of the basketball. And I think, you know, if we can do that, you know, we'll, we'll see uh, the rewards in the, in the wins uh, column. It's, it's real, you know, at this, at, at this point, it's really about just doing daily work as well as we can do it and then uh, let, let the rest take care of itself. But certainly I'm pleased with some of our victories so far, and I think we've had some good post-Christmas practices. Unfortunately, you're going to head into the uh, post-Christmas uh, portion of your schedule, uh, minus John Moore, a uh, senior who suffered a uh, foot injury uh, just prior to the Christmas break, one of only three seniors on this team. But, you know, perhaps the biggest of all, you're talking about a leader. He was obviously your leading scorer on the season. He was, and for a team that's uh, struggled to score the ball as we have and as we knew that we might, um, you know, losing 16 points from your lineup is, is, is a tremendous uh, hurdle to overcome. Um, you know, we expect John back this season at some point. 
And we, at this time, you know, it, we, we're not sure when that's going to be, Fabian. It's obviously weeks, you know, several weeks away. But, you know, we, we, uh, we've got to carry on. Uh, I think when you're in situations like this, and you and I might have even talked about it, you know, the challenge is you certainly want to look and see, okay, who's going to step up. Um, but my, my concern is more how are we collectively going to uh, be a better team defensively, rebound the ball better, take better care of the ball, sure up areas, those areas, and then, because I, I don't know if we have somebody that's going to be able to come in and just boom, average 16 points like John did. Um, I think bits and pieces we can have some guys step up, and they will, but we've got to do the things that we uh, need to do, those three areas in particular, better, and if we can do that, then um, I think that will help us absorb the loss of really a good player in John. Now your basketball team moves into the Big South Conference play from uh, here on out during the course of the of the season. You you split two road games in your first taste of conference play. You had a grinded out win against uh, Radford in the finale of that two game uh, road stretch. Now you're back at Porter Arena for games New Year's Eve against uh, Liberty and then the Sunday after that against uh, VMI. But then after that you're back on the road for three consecutive games in all. I know I don't have to tell you, but for folks that are tuning in for the first time, may not be familiar with the men's schedule this year, that's all of a stretch of 15 of the first 19 games on the road. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a real challenge for us and, um, in many ways, but I think and I hope, Fabian, that it's going to make us a tougher team um, in our approach and our mindset, uh, being able to go on the road and, and get that next play mentality, play through the emotion of a of a, an away crowd, um, you know we're we're facing uh, two really good teams here this this weekend. Uh, Liberty, I think, is um, quite honestly is as athletic and talented as any team in our league. Um, they're going to present us a, a tremendous challenge, and then you know most of us know the challenge that VMI presents in terms of their ability to score the ball and make it a helter skelter kind of a situation. So. Um, you know, I know our guys are excited about the challenge. I was, I was talking to our AD. I don't know, you know, I don't really anticipate a whole lot of rust. I hope there won't be. I think our guys are excited to play, um, excited about the opportunity. We're going to have a tremendous challenge at 5.30 on Friday. Coach, uh, finally want to touch on a lot of the cosmetic things that uh, those that have uh, watched over the course of the uh, Big South Network uh, over the course of, of the holidays uh, have noticed maybe some changes as they watch some of the games uh, via the video uh, web stream. One, the, uh, the new scorers tables on both sides of the floor uh, that are now lighted. We now have the, the new scoreboards which uh, not only give the, the players on the floor at the particular time uh, their game totals as far as scoring goes but fouls, but now the, the final touch is the uh, portable goals. Yeah, yeah, I tell you, I, I had planned to get you uh, um a really, really nice Christmas gift, but I had to put all my money towards that, so I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to do that. I'm sorry about that, but uh, maybe next year. But no, it, it's it's a it's a really nice addition to the uh, facility, and you know we think Paul Porter Arena uh, is is a beautiful place, and we want to continue to add to that. I think the uh, changes that you mentioned um, are in line with that, and, and we want to continue to do some things, but. You know, it really does dress up the place, and our guys are excited about playing in that. And I know our women are excited about playing in that with, with some of the new things. And, and um, you know, we're, we're, we're really excited. Hopefully we can, you know, we can light up that scoreboard and give the fans something to be, you know, be proud about it on the floor. Coach, appreciate your time. We look forward to seeing you uh, beginning with the uh, New Year's Eve game at the 530 Friday against the uh, Flames of Liberty. Thank you. We're looking forward to it. Happy holidays. That's the head coach of the Run the Bulldogs, Chris Oldman. This reminder, more news and notes on Gardner-Webb University Athletics at GWUSports.com.